have been the gold standard for personal identification within the forensic community for more than 100 years. Fingerprints are the pattern formed by the raised papillary ridges on the fingertip, which contain a row of pores that connect to sweet gland. Fingerprints and finger marks combine to provide the most powerful means of personal identification available to police and court. Fingerprints have been the gold standard for personal identification within the forensic community for more than 100 years. It becomes as a powerful tool arises from the realization that the pattern of rigid skin and their detail are unique, immutable, universal, easy to classify and leave a mark on an object when handled with bare hands. The principle is that the probability of finding two people with identical fingerprint is very small. In fact, no two identical fingerprints have ever been found same. A second principle is that individual fingerprints do not change with time. The pattern of region on a person's fingertip, palm and source at birth remain unchanged until death. Consequently, a detective can be certain that a criminal fingerprint will remain unchanged until death. Finally, there are enough similarity in the pattern of regions on pupil finger can be classified. The basic pattern of fingerprints are loops, words, and arts that can be found in fingerprint. Fingerprints have proved over time to the most rapid, variable, and cost-effective means by which to identify unknown deceased individuals, especially in a mass disaster setting. The recovery print can be manually compared with the known antemortem record or search through an automated fingerprint system to verify or establish identity. The identification of remain true at fingerprints accomplish the most important and difficult mission of the forensic identification operation. In this article, we discuss a case where DNA is recovered from a door handle. Our aim is to determine whether the result of quantity of DNA and quality of the DNA profile recovered from the door handle allow to discriminate between the activity by the parties. Okay, next is the methodology of the experiment. The first set of experiment is the transfer of DNA when opening doors with bare hands. In this experiment, each of the 10 volunteers act as person of interest, POI, was asked to open the door. They simulate a burglary by opening drawers and searching shelves for about 60 seconds. And then, they leave the office closing the door using the same door handle and the same hand. The experiments were performed using different office where one office per volunteer on different days to reduce the risk of DNA transfer among the volunteer. The second set of experiment is the transfer of DNA when opening doors with gloves. In this experiment, 50 participants act as person of interest who had regularly worn the glove for at least three months. Then another three volunteers act as alternative offender that simulated a burglary as described above but wearing each time a different pairs of gloves. Before entering the office, the volunteers were asked to put on the gloves for 60 seconds and to remove them and then put them back on twice before the simulation. Thus, the burglars wore the gloves during approximately 120 seconds for their fitting and the burglary. The figure above shown the setup of this experiment. The next step is the DNA recovery and analysis. In this step, the door handles were swapped using a cotton swab where the first swab was moistened with sterile water that was used on the metallic door handle. Then, a dry swab was immediately applied after on the same surface. Next, buccal swab were obtained from the volunteers who are simulated burglars, office occupants and the glove owners to establish their DNA profile. Do you know how the buccal swab was obtained? Let's watch the video. A buccal swab test collection is a rather simple and easy procedure and will not take up too much of your time. Prior to collection, 
Please ensure that you have fasted overnight and have not brushed, flossed, or had anything to eat or drink prior to the sample collection, as this may contaminate the sample for analysis and a recollection may be required. Peel open the plastic package that the swabs arrive in. Only peel back the package far enough to remove the buccal swab from the plastic packaging. Carefully remove the swab applicator by gently twisting the plastic cap off. If done correctly, the swab will look like this. Take care to avoid contact with the cotton tip as this will contaminate the sample. Open your mouth widely and insert the swab for at least 30 to 60 cheek using a back and forth and up and down. Please note, if there is not enough DNA collected, after approximately 60 seconds, remove the swab from your mouth and place the swab back into the plastic container, sliding the plastic cap down the green shaft. Please ensure that you do not touch the cotton swab with your fingers. Press the cap into the container, sealing the buccal swab, holding the cap and container with one hand. Use your other hand to grab the green shaft and gently pull, removing the shaft completely. If done correctly, the swab will be sealed within the container. After you have successfully collected cells from both cheeks. After that, the DNA was extracted from the two swab used to collect each specimen following the QIAM procedure. The procedure are shown in the diagram where the first step of the procedure is samples preparation followed by cell lysis. Next, the exception of DNA to the column and then removal of residual contaminants and lastly, eluting the DNA. Next, continue with the DNA amplification with a PCR 9700 which using 5 UL of DNA extract in a 12.5 microliter of total PCR volume when its concentration was less than 0.9 nanogram per UL and running the PCL with 30 cycles. Then the amplified DNA was separated and analyzed. Okay, lastly is the DNA profile interpretation. The interpretable DNA profile were then compared to the reference DNA profiles of the person of interest, alternative offender, and office occupants to decide whether or not they could be considered as possible contributors. So as a result, the quantification of the fingerprint present on the handles, when a person of interest uses the red thing, open with the bare hand, it gives the value 155 pg, while when it's opened by the alternative offender, which is the burglary, at value 250 pg. When we identify the total DNA present under the electrophorogram, EPG, it shows only 15% from 10 DNA were deemed impractable. As a result, only 30% DNA traces classified as 2%, 10% as a 3% and the rest will be the mixed DNA present. So, when the door handle was opened with bare hand by the person of interest, which is in this part, we identify as a victim, the 50% from 10 traces were interpretable mixture with other components. For 20% of traces, most of the DNA found was the from the office occupant, while the other 30% show, show the DNA from the person of interest, which is the victim. So when the alternative offender used the glove by the person of interest to open the door, the interpretable DNA form was 46% from the 50 traces. As we can see here, 10% of the traces come from the mixed DNA from the office occupant and the major contributor. 8% mixed DNA was traced with mixed DNA profiling, which come from the person of interest and major contribution and office occupant, person of interest, major and major contribution respectively. By this result, we can classify as the DNA traces on the handle can be varied due to the person touches with bare hand or DNA transfer from the glove used by the person. Recent experiments were designed in Esper has been designed to reproduce the KC method as closely as possible.
How DNA can be formed? Several studies have demonstrated that DNA can be indirectly transferred from an individual onto a surface. Therefore, the presence of DNA that is compatible with a given person does not necessarily mean that this person has touched the surface on the DNA was discovered. The presence of word simulation cases where DNA is covered on the door handle and the compare to the several reference of DNA profile. So we can say that DNA of the trace we share DNA component with a person of interest. Can DNA found on the globe? Mm, based on the data they collected, uh, among the trees collected on the door handle, we can see that there are 50 of the trees linked to the interpretable TA profile, which is only 30% of the cases when the door was open or closed with the bare hand, the DNA found of the door handle led to the mix of profile with POI of DNA, which is aligned with the major contributor compared with the glove. Therefore, we could say that DNA traits will got higher probability without using glove compared to the experiment when using the glove. For conclusion, the presence of the word simulation help to construct the Bulgari case. Another thing is the glove help in order to reduce the finding of DNA. And lastly, to demonstrate that the characteristic of DNA found. Regarding this journal, all what we can emphasize that two examples of how one can access results observed in the coursework. Given that the possibility of the indirect transfer of the limit of DNA quantities. This research also emphasizes that the need that evaluate the DNA is not given the attributed when the POI have a legitimate reason that can be explained to present.